Uh, so definitely HIV um, therapy, once again, requires a lot of uh, compliance. It is tough for a lot of the patients because, one, if you look at the pill size, it's, it's a big pills and they just can't swallow them. So that can be sometimes an issue. The other issue is, is that, you know, they want, they, you forget to take pills. Um, and it's hard for some patients to kind of schedule it into their tough schedules. Uh, a lot of times they're working at night where it's hard for them to take it. So especially when a patient comes into our clinic, I will definitely sit down with them, counsel them on the importance. The reason why it's so important is this one, it'll help them feel better and get better with as far as the HIV. Even though it's not going to cure it, it'll help them in the process of uh, not being prone to infections, um, having the virus spread throughout their body where it becomes more comorbidities later down the line. So in those cases, I try to stress it to the patients, they must be compliant with their meds. The other big problem with um, compliance uh, is, is that if they're not compliant, the virus is extremely smart and it will start to mutate and start to develop resistance against those drugs. So if a patient decides they're going to take it you know, one month and then all of a sudden drop it the next month. Uh, it's better off they didn't even start it at all because now that mutations are going to start developing and later down the line it's going to be tough to put them on or keep them on that drug. And there's only so many drugs we have right now in the HIV therapy, uh, so it, it makes it harder and harder to kind of give them better optimal treatment. So the best thing that we try to do to overcome compliance is try to put them on therapy where it's less pill burden and at the same time efficacious, and we also look and make sure that there's no mutations um, and try to make it so that the patient doesn't have a problem swallowing at the same time. And now, at, you know, with the drugs, they're starting to market, I guess you could say, um, more uh, pill-friendly uh, pills for these patients, where in the sense that they're smaller now, they're easier to take, they're not these horse pills, and they try to combine a lot of the drug therapies uh, into one pill, so it'd be one pill once a day, um, which works great for a lot of the patients, but definitely have to stress the compliance issue because you know you don't want them to become resistant to these drugs because there's only so many that there are out there.